Welcome to Comics Bazaar, the channel of comics commentary and arcana. This video features another unboxing of a CGC slab. This particular slab has come from the UK, England specifically, and you see there from the stamp on the corner, uh, probably this is going to be one of the last images of uh, Queen Elizabeth, the late Queen, on um, stamps and other forms of uh, postage. So let's get into this package and see what we have. So I'm gonna use this knife carefully here. Here also, cutting away from myself. I think that's the best option. Now let's see if these open here. Mm, well, I think I'll cut some more. Mm -hmm. And there we go. I might actually pull that away. Ah, okay, here we go. So, open this here. Now, nice. So, the sender has recycled some Amazon packaging here for uh, protection. Uh, good idea. Now some more tape to cut. And as I said in um, previous videos regarding these slabs, the problem with them is as soon as you get into them, um, you want another one. And I'm going to have to be careful about that, but the very first slab that I got was, um, as you will have seen, Uncanny X-Men 248, and that was an expensive one. Um, and I may have paid over the odds for that one, though I was very happy with what I received. So since then, I've gotten uh, more uh, savvy in relation to checking around for the best price. And um, another aspect of these books as well is that even though a book might be, I have to be careful here, even though a book might be uh, CGC 9.8 in grade, there can be aesthetic differences between uh, various comics uh, because what CGC regards as a defect um, is not necessarily an aesthetic matter. So you do have to check and see uh, the differences between the different um, 9.8 slabs, just to be sure that you're getting exactly uh, the kind of looking book that you want. So here we go. I think this is ready to be uh, removed. Oops, maybe not from the package here. Oh no, there's still some more tape, okay. Let's see here. Again, have to be careful. Do not want to. Oh, this is well secured. Uh, let's go again. This side too. Okay. Now, let's see. So, a little bit more tape here with the bubble wrap. Let's see if we can get this out of the bubble wrap. So some of you might already have an idea what it is. You're certainly probably expecting another X-Men slab, and indeed it is. So we've got the bag here as well. Get this out of the bag. is going to come out now. Let's see, whoops. Now, so Uncanny X-Men, ooh, nice. Uncanny X-Men um, 275, the uh, triple gatefold cover. And this one is a very handsome copy. So the thing about uh, the gatefold cover is that, um, 
you don't get to see the whole of it, obviously in these um, in the slab format, and also difficult to maintain the edges, both the edge of the um, of the cover and uh, the pages uh, which show outside of the gatefold cover in these issues. So just turning this over, I do like the fact that um, what you get on the back is uh, the shot of Magneto and Rogue, a death bird there. Um, that is um, um, my favorite um, parts of the gatefold cover. Um, so that's excellent. And this is a very nice copy indeed. So quite pleased with that. Um, Uncanny X-Men 275, uh, white pages, 9.8 CGC grade. And um, as I was saying earlier, after my first uh, CGC slab, I got a little um, savvier uh, researching these things and um, aiming for a better price. And um, I'm quite happy with what I paid for this. But certainly um, a habit has been formed and uh, we'll see now what the next one might be. But these later um, issues in the Lee Claremont run the print sizes for these were quite big, so you're more likely to get high quality uh, graded uh, copies of these comics uh, for less than some of the um, earlier ones in the run that are that little bit rarer. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this um, unboxing video. If you did, please like the video. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for more content like this.